Hey weirdos, this is Evan Jarvix with Make Oklahoma Weirder, and this is your local music vlog for the week. It is June 28th, Friday evening, and so much music came out today. So much music came out this week. We're talking music videos, LPs, EPs, singles. i got to jump into it, and that's all I'm going to be talking about. Spinster. Spinster dropped a long-awaited, highly anticipated, self-titled debut album today, uh, eight tracks long, and was originally going to be an EP, I believe but uh, was broadened out to the current eight tracks and is having a release show tonight at Opolis. Um, Spinster, if you don't know, is the sort of separate project of one of two Bab sisters. It's, it's not just a record store in Tulsa. Um, Spinster uh, is, is headed up by Joe Bab, um, which Joe and Sophia form kind of like the core of Annie Oakley, which is, of course, one of our premier folk artists, bands in Oklahoma. Um, so many people know Annie Oakley, and for very good reason, because they work so hard um, and have worked so hard over the years to find the success that they have found. Um, but uh, along the way, Joe started this separate band, uh, Spinster, to kind of... Uh, indulge in a completely different sound and so spinster is is kind of a more rock flavored um it's it's still kind of slow paced the tempo and stuff still kind of reminds me of some annie oakley songs some of the harmonies and some of the songwriting still reminds me of annie oakley stuff but the sound is a lot different and it's it's more shoegazy it's more dream poppy and it's 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 uh it's really comfy it's really cozy there's there's artwork on this thing that just kind of has somebody lounging in a bed in a bedroom with like and it's all like uh hand drawn and stuff uh it really captures the album for me in a lot of ways cuz it it feels like a blanket that i can wrap up in it's it's kind of introverted it's kind of cozy and that's that's the new spinster record for me at least and it's it's really solid and i think um yeah, if you haven't if you haven't heard Spinster yet, I think you should definitely check it out. Of course, um, which a side note by the way, uh, tonight's show at Opolis is not the last chance you'll get to see Spinster. There was an announcement made at some point that it would be because the Bab Sisters were moving to Colorado. Um, one of them still is, um, but that's not Joe. Joe is staying, according to a post that I found at least. I don't really know any of these people personally or very well, but I go off of what I find and research. And uh, the last post I found said that um, Joe is going to be staying in Oklahoma and therefore Spinster was going to continue playing in Oklahoma for the time being. So that is uh, good news for everyone who uh, will not be able to make the show tonight, of course, and, and for all of us just in general for having more spinster shows on the horizon. On that note, I do want to mention Trip Sitters. Trip Sitters, uh, on more of a Norman-based kind of indie rock band. They kind of have like some surf elements. I talked about them uh, last year in my Big 50. They put out an EP that was in my top EPs of the year. Trip Sitters, I think, is a heavily slept on band. I think they're freaking awesome, um, especially live. And I just, I don't know. I mean, I think the people who know, they know and, and have been following Trip Sitters. But I don't know. They just haven't broken through into... Uh, the consciousness of many more people beyond that. But I guess they're moving to Seattle. I had heard some rumors about that, but uh, they were confirmed, and Trip Sitters is, is going to be uh, out of state soon. So if you get a chance to see Trip Sitters, please go see them. Please catch them while they're here, while you can. Just take it from me if you're into kind of that indie rock stuff. Um, check out their album and see if you like it. And if you do, go to a show. Go to a show. These guys are cool. Um, Audio Book Club dropped a four-track EP today. A beautiful album title. And I'm trying to remember exactly what the phrasing was. But it's like, um, what if we got buff or something? It's a lovely title. Um, Audio Book Club uh, was in my top five singles of the year last year with a song called uh, Vodka and Soda, which does appear on this EP in a remastered format uh, alongside three new tracks. And so if you like what you've heard from Audio Book Club uh, last year being their debut, essentially, this is their first EP ever. They're still a new band. Um, it's it's a lot of that high-energy um, rock music kind of indie alternative stuff that uh, 
has a bit of tongue-in-cheekness to it. Definitely just a slight bit of unpredictability kind of thrown into um, just some very solid grooves and some very smart arrangements. I just I continue to dig what Audiobook Club is up to. They have an album release show on Saturday at the 51st Street Speakeasy alongside Twigs and Lust, which is a hell of a lineup. So uh, stay for the whole thing. you got to catch all of those bands together if you can. Speaking of the speakeasy, I do want to shout them out, too, um, because, I mean, they're just awesome in general. But they recently put out a playlist, um, which is kind of a collection of all the artists that have played at speakeasy over the years. And it's really cool. Um, I don't, I didn't listen to it independently, but I did listen to it um, at the speakeasy last night. I was at the speakeasy last night for another show and they were playing it just over the speakers there. And it was just really cool hearing a lot of my favorite Oklahoma artists just getting airplay at a local bar unbeknownst to probably a lot of people who were there might not have even realized how local some of these songs were. Um, but, uh, speakeasy continuing to do cool stuff. Um, open to one of the few places you can catch a good hip hop show. I mean, that's a big deal. Hip hop has such a hard time, um, because of the stigma around the genre, you know, it's so hard for them to get shows a lot of times. And there's so much talent in hip hop. I'm telling you, um, it's like every other week, there's just a great new album out and it's insane how much people sleep on hip hop around here. Um, but, uh, yeah, there was a, there was an original flow benefit show last night, um, which, you know, shout out to flow original flows going through some, uh, family problems right now. Well, problems is probably not the right word traumas. I don't know. His family's going through it. So there was a benefit show, um, which, you know, also shout out to Fox 25 for being like the only network that covered it. I mean, it was pretty short notice. It was put together pretty quickly, but you know, this stuff, this kind of stuff doesn't get covered on news Four, news five, you know, original flow is not being shouted out. And is this a great state or what Fox 25 does right by the community. And I appreciate them for doing that. Uh, so side note there of a side note of a side note, but speakeasy, um, had a, had a really great show last night. Um, one of the performers, by the way, and this will segue me, uh, because Willis, um, was one of the performers last night and he actually just dropped an album last week that I neglected to mention. Um, so far so good, I think is what it's called. And it's on Audio Mac. It's not on the streaming services as of yet. But if you're one of those hip hop fans that has been complaining about the trap sound, if you've been complaining about the hi hats, listen to this album. This one will definitely get your gears going. It's like classic sampling, lots of brass samples that I just love. Really kind of like throwback stuff, but not like totally like outdated either like i feel like it there's still like a, a modern sensibility to the mixing and everything uh check out the new willis album for sure um gonna mention chair model chair model dropped a new ep if you've been following chair model um they've been rocking this very current and popular pop sound very kind of cutting edge of very contemporary uh mixing mastering and just arrangements and writing and everything uh, use, utilizing talents of hand-picked local artists. As far as I know, this is still just a studio project. Never seen a live bill for Chair Model, but this is their third project to put out. I'm sure they'll pick up another commercial with one of these songs because they're catchy as hell, they're lots of fun, and it's just impeccably made. So uh, the folks of Ch Chair Model continue to impress. Julius the Robot and Lane dropped a project together on Tuesday, I think. Monday, was it? It was earlier this week. I haven't listened to it yet, but I really want to because anytime those two get together, it's like magic. So I really like the stuff that Lane has done over the years. Definitely uh, has experimented some, but I, I get a feeling this one might be a bit more of a narrative take on things. Really curious about it, but uh, you can definitely check that out. Check out the the Lane and Julius the Robot uh, collab. Um, naturalist. Uh, Last thing I'm probably going to be able to mention, um, Naturalist dropped a new single today, and it is anticipating a new album that's coming in September, which I'm excited for, because Naturalist has continued to kind of evolve their sound from their sort of post-hardcore roots into a much 
interesting take on like alternative rock and i like the new song the new song is really cool and uh, really excited to see where the album uh evolves from where they have been in the past if you don't know naturalist i think they're definitely worth checking out and i'm going to end it on that but there check out some new music